Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-August tarot reading and a little bit of astrology in there too. I'm doing mid-monthlies because the eclipse season has really left everybody a little bit uh, shook. <laughs> it's, it's probably the best way to put it, they're a bit shook. And um, I find that a lot of people are feeling a little bit either lacking in energy, you know Mars is still retrograding. And unless you have Mars in retrograde in your natal chart, which you can check on sites like Cafe Astrology, etc. Um, unless you have that retrograded aspect, you can be finding this all a little bit draining, particularly if you are an Aquarius or a Capricorn uh, moon or rising. Um, but because you are a cardinal sign Aries, now that Mars is retrograding back into Capricorn, you may be finding a sudden dip in your energy really. It is your um, 10th house of career so you might be feeling like you're taking a back seat at work or people aren't appreciating you or something like that. It's all an energy thing though, um, like a perception. So let's see what we've got going on for you guys. Ooh, the devil just popped out. Um, well, I don't feel like I shuffled properly just there, so I'm going to keep him in. Although this could be an indication that someone is being a bit obsessive or someone is being a bit controlling or manipulative in your life. This could be work-related, as he popped out when I was talking about the 10th house. That is also the sign of Capricorn, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn person where things have gotten a bit messy. Uh, let's see what we've got for you, Aries. Don't forget, there's also a full moon in your 12th house on the 26th of August. I talked about this in the monthlies, but um, just to reiterate, as it's in your 12th house, it can be a little bit emotionally overwhelming. It's a lot to do with releasing um, what we with, what we hold within our subconscious, the things that we are holding on to that we don't realise. So when it happens in our 12th house of full moon, it can reveal aspects of ourselves that we didn't realise. It can reveal a subconscious belief that we've been holding possibly for a very long time, things that you've maybe picked up on in the past year, you might find that you have um, more bursts of tears or jerk reactions to things around this full moon, but it's all about releasing them, addressing them first and then letting them go. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, wow, and the Star. Oh my goodness. Wow, Aries, this is impressive. Okay, so underneath we have the Page of Pentacles. Wow. This is intense. Goodness me. So, now, the recent solar eclipse in Leo, which is your fifth house of creativity and romance, um, really suggests that things are going on behind the scenes that you may not realize. With the retrograde energy, particularly Mercury retrograding in that sector as well, Mars retrograding into your 10th house of career. As you can see, we have the number 10 here. Um, for the most part, I'm reading this as a lot's actually happening, happening behind the scenes for you that you haven't yet seen. And maybe this is why you're feeling a little bit... Um, in the dark about things, you may be wondering what is really going on in certain aspects because things are quite quiet. And in actuality, with the magician in the middle, you have so many things coming your way, especially with the star, that you're really going to enjoy going into September. And there's certainly, for a lot of you, they are work-related. But there seems to be some sort of wish that is finally realised here particularly with the Wheel of Fortune, I can see that fate is starting to align for you in a big way. Something is happening around this full moon that you've always wanted, but it might be something, because I'm thinking about the 12th house energy, it might be something you've never admitted to wanting or you've not admitted to yourself. Now, I'm leaning to thinking this could be career or money because of the page of pentacles here, but it could be relating to an earth sign person. It could be the Capricorn we talked about earlier, it could be a Taurus or it could be a Virgo. But there's a wish here that gets realized and it's quite intense. Goodness. I mean, the magician means that you're making it happen. You've got everything in your power to make things happen. This to me looks like a perfect alignment 
um, where you're completely in the zone, in the vortex, and suddenly things start coming together. Now, it's hard to be exact about what this wish is. I think for some of you, it's romance and some of you, it's work and money. But it seems to be like a bit like a shock to me. It's it really is like one of those alignment moments. I'm going to draw a couple of clarifiers. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness, two of cups, okay. Let's get one more. No, it's too many. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay, so. In terms of signs, because some people like signs, some people don't. Um, because this reading is going out to so many people, it's hard to know who exactly it applies to. Some of you with the Wheel of Fortune could be dealing with fixed sign energy and Aquarius, for sure, with the star here. Taurus, Scorpio, or um, Leo. But I'm also picking up Gemini. So... With the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, I feel for a lot of you this is a, it's it's really 50-50 because of the pentacles and the cups. But for most of you, I think this is a relationship where you've been wanting to see growth. Um, this is the type of person you have felt is just meant to be. Like they're just meant to be in your life for some reason, especially with the star here. There's a fate aspect to this and the wheel of fortune indeed. It could be with the wheel of fortune spinning, it could be somebody returning, something coming full circle as Mercury, um, the planet that I like to think of as deja vu when it's retrograde, somebody returns. It could be for sure, because Mercury is in Leo, which is a fixed sign, which is the energy of the wheel. So it could be somebody returning and it finally getting off the ground. I think for a lot of you that this is happening for, it is somebody where things didn't get off the ground to begin with. It was the beginning stages. For others of you, there's a new person coming in that fits the bill. Um, This is somebody who's very on paper what you want and there's a very strong reciprocation and very strong connection here which is really beautiful. I do think for a lot of you it's an Aquarius or a Gemini but um, it could be any sign really. It could be their moon or rising sign. Now with the seven I feel like this is a very positive step into new territory. Um, with this card she's seeing uh, the fruits of her labour finally manifest finally ready for harvest finally ready to get something out of the energies that she's been putting in because you know she's planted these seeds or she's been waiting for these seeds to grow and now they're there she's ready to bring them down so it is something is finally coming to fruition and it's something that you've definitely been wishing for um, whether you admit it to yourself or not it's something that you've always really really wanted and with the star here this is a very blessed relationship if it's work it's a new contract it's finally feeling at peace with where you are it is meeting challenges head on and finding the results that you need this is one of the most positive readings of the monthlies Aries this is definitely one of the most positive that I've seen I think this is going to be a very romantic two weeks for you or at least in these two weeks you're going to have the seeds begin to grow though I'm starting to see things grow quite quickly to be honest whatever this is. It could be that somebody comes into your life or has recently come into your life that's taken you by surprise and things are moving very very quickly but it could also be that things are finally starting to develop where you were maybe concerned that there was none. So this is really pretty. <laughs> this is really nice. I'm going to draw a goddess guidance card for you as well, Aries. Ooh, Mave. 
cycles and rhythms. Okay. So we have Maeve. And underneath we have Isolt, Undying Love. Wow. This is cycles. That's interesting. Do you see the way she's right beside the Wheel of Fortune? Cycles. The wheel goes round and round. This is interesting, Aries. Some of you may actually be dealing with someone who has a name, Maeve. I know that in a lot of the other readings, people have been dealing with um, actual names from the cards. It's all about taking care of your body. Um, taking some downtime when you need. Listening to your body is very important with this. Um... Can also, it means some of you, for females anyway, are dealing with feminine pains. And it's all about taking it easy on your body, listening to your body, um, understanding your body. I mean, that's particularly important uh, subconsciously because sometimes what our subconscious thoughts can harm us if we're not listening to ourselves. It's all about meditating and really listening to what it is that you need to know. Some of you are definitely... I mean, with the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, I also feel like some of you are getting pregnant and maybe having difficulties with pregnancy as well. And it's really about listening to your body. Um, Isolt, I think that's how I'm pronouncing her name. Isolt? Isolt. Um, love from your romantic partner is eternal. This can also be about healing from a breakup, healing from a loss. Um... The love that you're receiving is love that'll last forever. There's at least one relationship in your life where the love is undying. Um, it's all about having respect for others as well. You know, that unconditional love. It means that you're receiving help from um, Isolt in your love relationships if you're looking for clarity and you're looking for reconciliation because I do feel like for some of you there's a very strong reconciliation here and um listen to your gut feelings on things particularly with Maeve here because um your body will let you know what is and isn't right for you you'll have a good feeling when you meet the right person and I think for a lot of you you're meeting that person this month um in the last two weeks so I hope you enjoyed that reading Aries and I will see you in September bye